happy holidays. I've been in the mood to bedazzle and bejewel everything. You can't finish your look without a great clutch. In this episode, we are going to DIY ourselves a rhinestone ruffle clutch for the holiday season. So if you're interested in recreating this clutch, keep watching. Sun slash eyeglasses case comes in all kinds of shapes and forms. Just find the right one for you. Scissors, one yard of embellished trimming, but if you can't find something similar to mine, you can probably use sequins or bejewel a piece of fabric with rhinestones and you can recreate it with just that. Two adjustable rings. Here I have two sets of colors. I'm not sure which one um, I want to use, so that's why you see two here. Pliers, E6000 glue. Lastly, I was going to use this ribbon, but I decided not to use it and opt out for the satin fabric to help create my ruffles. A circle stencil or a tube. I found mine from like a used finish tape. So it was like about an inch and a half. So you can find one as a stencil and just copy that. Lastly, a glue gun. So deciding to go with the black, you want to ply open the ring and straighten them as possible. Or the form of the clutch. Some clutches are round so you want to shape it just to fit the top portion of the clutch. Center them in the middle. I didn't want to align them together. I want to align them off. You can choose to align them together or if you don't want to, that's okay. Um, it will create that closure illusion. Glue them down and let them dry. With your trim, you want to start placing them down at the front and back of the eyeglasses case. Leave the top open and the bottom open. That will be space for you to create the ruffle. Just glue the trim down into place with the E6000 glue and just let it dry. Now with your circle stencil, you're going to trace it onto the wrong side of the fabric. Don't do it on the shiny part, just do it on the duller side. Do this all over the fabric to make sure that you have enough. Then cut them all out. Now that you have your circles cut out, it's time for you to glue them on. With the glue gun, you're going to want to place a small bead at the center of the circle on the wrong side of the fabric, and then fold it in half and pinch it into place. Then, you're going to place another small bead at the center bottom of the circle and fold it in half and pinch that into place. Then you will see that it created a triangle-like shape you want to place a small bead at the very tip of the triangle and then slip it underneath the ring embellishment. Repeat this all the way around the ring and then you're going to keep on doing that and layering the ruffle underneath one another. for the first side and once you complete it will look like this and you will repeat the same thing on the other side once everything is done it will look just like this and you're ready to wear it This is 
perfect for the holiday season. And if you want, you can even make this as a gift and give it to that special fashionista in your life. They will absolutely adore it because it's something handmade and special and you thought of them when you created it. Let me know down in the comment section if you're going to recreate this for yourself or as a gift. And let me know if you have any other ideas of DIY accessories you would like to see for the holiday season. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next holiday video. Bye guys.